Okay, so I'm a little late to the release date on this, but that's okay. Um, essentially, I got a message from Jonathan Vreend, who is the guitar player and the vocalist of Shadow of Everest. And he's like, hey man, there's chances you want to review my record, or our record. Highly likely I'm going to. So we talked about this like last week. And I've been kind of going through the motions on this because uh, I have another review I, I'm going to do. Um, but this is a band I've known about for a very long time. Unfortunately, I have never actually gone to listen to their stuff in full, except for their the, the record prior to this one here. The name escapes me, unfortunately. Um, that's a typical thing. So these guys are a uh, three-piece now, unfortunately, and I'll get to that in a few minutes. Uh, progressive groove metal band from Halifax, Nova Scotia. And they've, and they've released on May 13th their newest record called Where Giants Die. For fans of Mastodon, a little bit of Sabbath, and I'll touch on that later. Tool and Queens of the Stone Age. Featuring the man of the hour, Jonathan Vreen, on guitars and vocals. Lead vocals. Andrew Wellsman on guitar, who is the man who left, unfortunately, due to having a new baby, which is, that's, you know, that's here nor there. He is on the record in, uh, in terms of recording guitars. Sean Cowell on bass, who I've known for a very long time, and I have gigged with him uh, myself personally um, with my old band, Beyond Eternal. Um, and uh, last but not least, Adam Hersey uh, on drums. I hope that's Hersey and not Hershey, otherwise I'm going to feel like a dummy. <laughs> so, <clears throat> get into the mix and the master and all that jazz. Uh, this was engineered by Darren Van Niekerk, uh, with help from M. Earl Lambert and, jo and J.V. himself. Uh, J.V. is John, uh, the guitarist and vocalist. Mix mastered by Gordon Huntley, produced by the band and as well as Van Niekerk. So I'm going to basically touch on what I'm hearing and can this be classified as for fans of Mastodon, a little bit of Sabbath, Queens and of the Stone Age and Tool and it actually makes sense. Yes, all of them bands. Um, my favorites off of this record and I'm only, and I'm going with four with an honorable mention. The base right off, I'm going to go with the honorable mention first. Uh, Fissures of the, on the moon, sorry, yeah, Fissures on the moon, not of the moon, on the moon. It's a 12 minute fucking instrumental with a little bit of, uh, it's almost like there's some female vocals on there. Um, not something I'm used to hearing on a record, a 12 minute fucking instrumental. But when you listen to it, it, it is very much in that tool sort of vein and I'm, and, and like, I don't mean like, it's not like you're going to put on Fishers and hear Schism or fucking Sober or whatever. What you're going to hear is deep, deep, deep musical passages. The guitar is brilliant at the start. The bass on it is very well done. It's got a little bit of light drumming. It picks up and it, 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 it there's ebb and, or there's ebbs and flows in this track. And because it's 12 minutes, I certainly didn't want to go and break down each section. But when I listen to the song and when I've listened to this record, there's the one thing is perfectly clear. Everybody who I've spoken to about Shadow uh, of Everest, who's seen them alive, really makes me feel like a utter bag of shit that I've missed them. Because I'm pretty sure that at one point they have played in my hometown. Uh, and I feel like a dickbag for missing them. Um, these guys are fantastic on record. I can only imagine what they are like live. They have to be probably one of... I mean, for, for when you listen to the record, the vocals are clean right off the bat. 
there is a little bit, there was a song that I messaged John, John when I first started listening, I'm like, is there a fucking mega horn or a bull horn in this bitch? And he's like, or at like effects. And he's like, yeah, they are, there's effects on there. He's like, but they're done post recording, which I don't care really. I think it's fucking awesome. If you're expecting this sort of proggy groove band and you're like thinking Pantera style vocals, you're not getting any of it. You're going to get more, you will probably get a vocal that sounds similar to like an Ozzy, a Braun Daler, um, with a hint, I mean a very slight hint of Josh Homme, but not much. Um, so the track, the other tracks that I like, uh, they came away from the sky, Swamp Ape, which very funny title but that's where you get the sabbath because there's a lot of big fat heavy grooves it almost sounds like they're in a, in, a, in a much lower tuning sort of like i think either d or c um the title track of course where giants die death of the sun is pretty much what you would get if you wanted to hear mastodon uh done by a local band from halifax nova scotia There, there, there are 13 tracks on this record. Okay, there's 13 fucking tracks. It's on all the major streaming platforms. It's on Bandcamp that you can uh, buy CDs and, and um, et cetera, et cetera, shirts and so on. The thing I... When it, when it comes to the good, all of the guitar tones, the bass, the drums, the vocals... Like, this is probably some of the best stuff that I think I've heard John sing on. And the the record uh, the record just prior to this, and I think it's... The only thing I can remember is Dark Spiral. I think, this, I think that's one of the tracks. This is a head step above where that previous record was. And he's gone through a lot of medical uh, shit himself, which I'm not going to get into. Um... But holy fuck, it's, it's, it's almost as if every time he steps up to a microphone into this recording booth, it's like it gets better. Musically, if you're, I mean, like I said, if you're, li if you're looking for that Mastodon meets Sabbath type vibe, you're going to get it in terms of the musicality. Every musician on this, in this band is fucking excellent. The bits that I don't like about this record is there's far too many little 30 to 30 second to a minute to interludes. I've never been a fan of that. I just find it's, I just think they're fucking stupid. That being said, that's my opinion. They probably, they, when these guys write this kind of shit, they do that for whatever reason. It doesn't matter if you are fucking a band from St. John, New, ben New Brunswick, or Moncton, NB, or Halifax, Nova Scotia, or fucking Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, to fucking Metallica themselves. I don't give a flying fuck. I think fucking interludes or these little fucking clips are stupid. Are they well written? Yes, but I think they're fucking stupid. That's just my personal opinion. Why they did it, I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't, an <laughs> I wasn't there when they were recording this yet, or even writing it per se. So, that being said, this easily should have been a 5 out of 5, but I'm going to give it a 4. And the reason is, if you look at, like some people can say, well, it doesn't sound like the, the vocals are as strong. Well, that's fucking how he sings it. Musically, it is very well written. It is very well mixed. It is very well mastered. Everything sounds fucking good on this record. Like I said, I could have given it a, four, uh, a five out of five. Now, some people might be like, well, why don't you just give it a three and a half if you don't like fucking interludes? Because it's fucking well written. Even the 12 minute and 49, I, I think it was like, I think it's like 12 minutes and 49 seconds of an instrumental. Go on and listen to it. It's called F uh, Fissures, Fissures, John's probably going to laugh at me too for this, uh, On the Moon. Just go fucking listen to it. 12 minutes and 49 seconds of fucking musical talent. And again, if that's if this is your thing, I think you're really gonna fucking like it. I absolutely think you're gonna love it. The boys have done very well. Um, unfortunately, as I said, this is Andrew Wellsman. I believe you know he has left. 
Um, but it is due to having a new baby. So there's, this is, that's really not a big deal. That's, that's not something to go, oh my God, he's left because of the record, blah, 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 blah. No, it, it's kind of fucking newborn. Um, JV and Sean and Adam really kicked ass on this record. I wholeheartedly believe it. I hope they uh, move forward and get themselves a second guitar player because it really makes a sound for, especially on the record. I really hope I'm able to catch them live, uh, but gas prices suck dick, as we all fucking know. That being said, check these guys out. Shadow of Everest, and that's spelled E-V-E-R-E-S-T, where Giants Die. This was released on May 13th. I honestly, if you're into the fucking Tool, Queens, Mastodon, Sabbath thing, and you really, really can appreciate solid um, songwriting, my God, that's terrible. Uh, if you can really appreciate uh, strong songwriting, I think you're going to, I think you're really going to like this. There's no harsh vocals on here, but Jonathan really puts his fucking, his, his, uh, his balls into this for sure. And it, like I said, it's probably the best I've heard in uh, quite a while. So anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, smash that fucking button. Uh, share it. Let people know what's going on over here. Um, and yeah, fucking subscribe to this shit. Because there's going to be more coming. Um, there's about two more reviews coming very shortly. I'm hoping I can fucking squeeze them out um tomorrow night i really hope um i know i'm gonna be slightly tied up but if i have to i'll crank it into overdrive and uh, we'll go from there so thank you very much guys i'll see you soon